We read in the Bible about Moses, Elijah, Jacob, and many others who were all spoken to by God while they were alone. Jesus, our best example, taught us about the importance and benefits of solitude. He tells us that when we pray, to pray in our room and close the door, and God sees that and will reward us. When Jesus told his, chose his 12 disciples, he spent time alone in prayer for that important decision. After being surrounded by crowds, Jesus withdrew to lonely places to pray and to gain strength. And before his trial and crucifixion, he spent time alone in prayer with his disciples nearby. Solitude with God can empower us in ways we could never imagine. I love the outdoors. I especially love elk hunting in the mountains. I love the wild, high, and lonely places. When I'm in the mountains, I feel an overwhelming sense of something greater than myself. Perhaps it's the scale of the landscape. Maybe it's the feeling that we are so small in relation to God's creation. At those times, God's presence can be so strong and undeniable. But how about when we can't escape to the mountains? How do we achieve that feeling in our busy lives? I found that being alone at times at sunrise brings me closer to the Creator. When I'm in my truck, it's always silent because I never turn the radio on. I draw closer to God because I can turn my thoughts to Him. Each of us can find a solitary place and be refreshed by talking with our Lord, whether it's a quiet room, a spot in our yard, or a walk in the neighborhood, anywhere we can turn our thoughts back to Jesus. I don't have all this figured out, but I'm learning that solitude can bring us closer to Jesus.